Okay, Gemini. So let's see. Welcome to your love reading, your channeled love reading. Let's see. I told everybody basically this week that I'm doing like one oracle card, but then I'm kind of just seeing what comes through, like what, what storyline comes through, whose energy is the strongest and what, you know, what story comes out for that. So that's what we're going to do. Now for you guys, I did pick up that there's two different things going on here, actually. There's two different types of Gemini energy coming through, if you will. So for some of you, you guys are dating. I see a lot of you dating, having fun, actually, might I add, like just having fun, dating, trying to trying to discover yourself. I'm picking up a lot of like young Gemini energy, like really out there, having fun, living life, trying to really learn about yourself, really kind of figure yourself out, right? Those of you that are doing that, you're actually also like as you're dating and as you're having fun dating, you're also understanding why people sometimes don't see certain a certain side of you. And so even though you're young, I actually like to see this energy because I see a lot of you young Geminis really trying to learn how can you be different in that sense, you know, like how can like like knowing what triggers you in order to let that person come out because you don't want to be like that type of thing because sometimes you guys can tend to be a little bit angry you know for certain things and and especially if you're holding so much in so i see a lot of you dating like i said but a lot of you dating and, and smart dating you know very smart dating very intelligent dating um and just very very on on the go dating like i love it i love to see it and then there's others of you who are in a connection with somebody but you've been feeling distant from someone you know you've been feeling distant You've actually been feeling as if you want to have like a heart to heart with somebody. Um, you just feel like there's been a drift, you know, or, or like a rift, you know, like there's just been this this something that's been kind of affecting the connection somehow. Um, let's see. Let's take a peek. I'm going to get overall energy with the Oracle and then I'll continue to see what comes through for you guys um, for Gemini value what really matters yeah see that's what i mean so like i was saying because this goes both ways like i was saying for those of you that are fun and and you know having fun and dating and you know really kind of learning lessons and being so young learning those lessons you guys are you're knowing what you want that's going to mold you to know what you want when you're dating and i do see quite a bit of you actually kind of settling down um like very young gemini energy is what i'm getting i see a lot of you settling down um, and then those of you that are dealing with this person that you feel like you want to have like a heart to heart or you, you just feel like you're scared to speak to this person because you're scared of what the outcome might be. But what I'm getting is that regardless of what the outcome might be, it's, it's meant to happen. Does that make sense? Gemini's like whatever the outcome might be, it's meant to happen. It's almost like you're meant to go down this road because for some of you, it's going to be a make it or break it thing. So there's 50% of you honest to God that are like gonna get what you want and this person will get in line and then 50 percent of you will finally start to realize like it's something that you need to be letting go of but it's also going to expand you into where you need to be so it's a win-win really you know because it, you're still gonna need to do the things that you need to do in order to expand and have like kind of like that self-love for yourself as well what i'm hearing too is for those of you who are dealing with this person that you feel like you have to have a heart to heart with make sure you pay attention to this person's eyes when you're speaking to them not only their eyes but just their body language a little bit as well because you're gonna have to trust your discernment because i'm getting that for some of you this person that you deal with they really know how to like they know how to speak like they just know how to convince you to give another chance or they know how to convince you to think that maybe the issue is you or or like you've done something wrong you know it's like i'm picking up like like narcissistic manipulative type of behavior and it's actually one of the things that deters you from wanting to kind of like be open with this person right gemini is like it just it deters you so yeah for those of you that are, are gonna have a heart to heart because i'm hearing that even though you're nervous to have it you guys know that you need to do it and so you just feel like you like your body's telling you like do it do it do it right like your body keeps telling you you have to make sure you listen to your gut make sure you listen to your higher self right now like i said for those of you who are going to have this heart to heart with this person 
make sure that you watch their eyes you know like the eye for some reason with this person their eyes will tell all you'll be able to tell if they're feeding you a line of bs right like you'll be able to tell if they're really telling you the truth or not like with this particular person for those that this resonates for you know i'm picking up that you guys can tell like in their eyes a little bit of their body language like you can tell when they're lying and sometimes you convince yourself that like you're crazy and you're like no 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 like let me stop that you know like i'm thinking crazy whatever but little do you know that if it's your initial instinct of what you think you gotta go with that and some of you are not crazy when you think like oh my god something's going on or i feel something's off trust your gut all about everything that i do is trying to get you guys for yourselves right to trust your own discernment trust your own guts trust tr gut not guts but trust your own gut trust your own feelings trust your own instincts okay so rise to the occasion pull out that power within yourselves and good luck with this definitely keep me posted let me know guys um i hope that this resonates don't forget to let me know if it does if it does don't forget to like comment share subscribe you guys know how much I love and appreciate you so, so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.